Hey Ruby, great question for my video. Why does the moon have craters, but we don't? It's a really good question, but I'm going to have to disagree with it a little bit. In fact, the Earth does have craters. I will say though, you look very convincing asking it in your tie. And that's lesson one. Sometimes people in ties, especially people in ties, can be very, very wrong. Okay, much better. So. If the Earth has craters, then one of the first things you want to ask is the same question you'd ask to your friend who'd been bragging about how they have all the best Ninjago toys all school year, and then you go over to their house for a birthday party and it's like, my little ponies everywhere. Where are they? Well, one of them's actually pretty close to you in Oregon, Crater Lake. About 7,700 years ago, a huge volcano erupted and blasted a hole in the Earth. Eventually that hole filled with water, and now it's the deepest lake in the entire United States. So that's one. But while some of the craters on the moon were caused by volcanoes, a lot of them were caused by something different. They're called impact craters. Let's take a look. Okay, now what is an impact crater? Well, meteors, which are basically just big rocks floating around in space, they impact the moon with so much force. I've lost my cat so much force that they disintegrate. So they're no longer there. Now what is are the holes, which are the craters. And these meteors have hit with so much force that it's actually melted the surface of the moon. And that's where we get our impact craters. Make more sense now? Good we cut. I'm starving. Oh, not good. Gritty. Not bad though, thanks. So, do we have any impact craters on Earth? Yes. The Earth Impact Database lists over 190 known impact craters. Some of them are pretty impressive, with pretty impressive names. Like the Behringer Crater near Flagstaff, Arizona. It's about 4,000 feet wide and almost 600 feet deep, and it was created by the impact of a meteorite over 150 feet across. The Pingaluit Crater in Quebec, Canada, formed by a meteorite impact over 1.4 million years ago. And the chi oh, come on. The Chicxulub crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, which is thought to be from the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs. Fun fact, any piece of space rock that comes into our atmosphere is called a meteor. But once it hits the ground, it becomes a meteorite. Okay, so the Earth has some craters, but the moon has more. Now the Earth is bigger than the moon, so shouldn't it have more? Well, yes, it should, except for three things. Plate tectonics, erosion, and atmosphere. Huh? <sighs> mm. Mm. Hot! Oh. oh, man. Well, the inside of the Earth is also hot and liquid. So the surface is sort of floating in big pieces, like ice on a frozen lake. Now sometimes those pieces crash into each other. And what can happen when those two tectonic plates crash into each other is one gets pulled underneath, and the other one goes on top, and that can destroy any evidence of damage caused by impact. The Earth also has volcanoes, which when they erupt, can change the landscape of the Earth too. Now beneath the surface of the moon, it's as cold and dead as the eyes of anyone who's had to clean up one too many Tea Party mishaps. So the plates stay exactly where they are. Fun facts about tectonic plates. The movement of these plates is the cause of mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes around the world. We think that millions of years ago, the Earth had just one continent called Pangaea. That's why Africa and South America look like you could fit them together like a puzzle. After a while, Pangaea broke up into several pieces. Before they became the continents we know now, one of them was called Gondwana Land. Something else the Earth has that the moon doesn't have is wind and water. Now, wind and water work on the surface of the Earth over a long period of time to change it through a process called erosion. Over thousands of years, wind and water 
move over the Earth, erasing any evidence of any craters. Now the moon doesn't have any wind and water, so even something as tiny as the astronauts' footprints when they first walked on the moon will still be there hundreds, even thousands of years from now. And while air causes resistance on the surface of the Earth, it also creates resistance for any meteors headed towards Earth. Air in the atmosphere burns up any small meteors, those actually become shooting stars, and breaks up any larger ones into smaller pieces so all their damage isn't so concentrated. I, I have an example, uh, but hang, uh, safety first. Ready. But the moon has no atmosphere, so anything coming at it hits it with full force. Ow. 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 Whew. Ow. Okay, so the atmosphere doesn't work exactly like that. It slows down the meteor. It doesn't push it out of the way. It's like when you're jumping into a pool. The water slows you down so you don't hit the bottom. The water doesn't reach up on the diving board and smack you so you don't even get in the pool. Unless you did something to make the water really mad. Like pee in it. Let's review. The Earth does have impact craters, but there just aren't as many, and they aren't as easy to see as the Moon. Now that's because, one, the Earth's molten core creates volcanoes and movement of tectonic plates, which can destroy craters as it changes the surface of the Earth. Number, <coughs> number two, erosion. Earth's wind and water cause erosion, which smooths out the surface of the Earth, erasing evidence of craters. Three, the atmosphere. The atmosphere burns up and breaks apart many meteors headed for Earth, reducing the size and number of craters. Ruby, thanks for the great question. Hopefully this helped clear up why there are craters on the moon and not on Earth. There are craters on Earth. There are just not as many and they're harder to find. Hope you have a great summer. For me, now I have an idea. I'm gonna go see if I can find some of those pretzel meteors. That's gonna look pretty tasty. Thank you. you guys over there? Off. Turn. Off. Ah.